Happy day. Sunshine and mud. This is dangerous mud. This is mud that I am really close to falling in and I just lost my feet. <laughs> oh boy. My husband just splattered mud all over me. So what I was saying, if you couldn't hear me on the tractor, was that I was standing, I was holding the gate, and my husband came by and splattered me, like, head to toe, to face, to neck, yeah, and I was blaming him, and he said it wasn't his fault, it was the tractor tire, but he was driving, so. Okay, well, since I mentioned something about cleaning in my last vlog, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just here to say that cleaning is contagious. I'm cleaning my room. I'm going to show you a little bit because, you know, I just, I don't care anymore. But I'm here to say that cleaning is contagious. I can't stop sneezing. The amount of dust in this log house and under the bed and under the dresser. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come out of this with COPD. Anyway, look at this. Uh, that's actually stuff to keep. I've already taken a full load of stuff to my truck. This is stuff that has to find a new home. <sighs> Kid stuff, what do you do? I put it in a box. Um, and all this stuff from underneath the dresser. Yeah, dust bunnies. Mm -hmm. Anybody need that? I don't have anything to do with it. I don't know where to put it. Um, but we're making progress. That little dresser over there. It had so many books on it yesterday, you couldn't see the bottom. So I got rid of a bunch. Uh, isn't she pretty? That was my mom. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Lots of work. But we're getting there. Slowly but surely. And now I'm committed. So I'm in it to win it, y'all. I'm going to do this. This is the year that my house gets at least mostly decluttered. I'm just going to keep preaching that to myself. Okay. Okay, y'all. Things are kind of deteriorating. Say that five times fast. Quickly here. The dust is killing me. I can't stop sneezing. My eyes are burning and itching and red. I mean, I'm making progress. I haven't seen that dresser top in years. But uh, I just sucked up an SD card that goes in my camera that's probably worth $100. So now, I got to dig through. I got to dig through this bag and try to find a little, tiny little SD card. And this is what I get for cleaning. This is what I get for cleaning. Actually, this is what I get for not cleaning. <laughs> I'm going to make it, y'all. I'm going to make it through this. I'm powering on. This, y'all, this is what we have today. Uh, it's gross. So, it only makes sense to go out in the pouring rain to take, like, an entire truckload of stuff to the Salvation Army. That's what I'm doing. Because... I started putting it in here and uh, there's nowhere for my kids to sit and it's the only thing I have to drive so I either go take this stuff today or they don't get to go to church <laughs> so this is what I'm doing I just had a really scary thought y'all I gotta stop I gotta stop it's 110 on Saturday they might not be open. They might have closed at noon. I don't know. That's a really scary thought. Because I really need to get rid of this stuff. But I got to go to the grocery store anyway, so. Here's open. Yes. 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 Open. Alright. Wish there was like an awning or something. Of course there's not, but whatever. Okay, a full 
been gone. Um, I just couldn't get rid of those. If you saw my last vlog, you'll know what those are. And <laughs> that scary looking doll. It was mine. And my girl played with it for a while. And I don't know. I just can't get rid of it. So, I'll put it in a box and save it for a grandchild or something. Or let my children deal with it one day. All in all, pretty good. Thing. Do a little drive down the road to see what the creek and the river was doing. Um, it's out. It's way out. Truck is knocking. Well, it's raining. A lot. And it's supposed to keep raining all night. So yeah, the river's out. The creeks are out. The fields look like rivers are running through them. It just seems like it's never going to end. It really seems that way. Of course, I know it will. Eventually. But boy, this is really not very fun. Not good. Oh well. This is under the shed. <laughs> I hear my ride coming. Here comes my chariot. Yeah. Sweet. We got creeks that we didn't used to have. Yeah. <sighs> Bless. Back in the truck in between loads and uh, like my husband said, I didn't get it on camera, but he said we might as well laugh as to cry about it, right? So much in life is like that. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta roll with it. You just gotta roll with it. It's gonna dry up one day. Has to. Has to. <laughs> okay. Out of the rain. In the kitchen. Ready to make some squirrel. What am I making? Squirrel dumplings. Yeah, that. What my boy wants so we're gonna give it a go basically gonna do the same thing i did with my chicken dumplings not too long ago chicken stew i call it chicken stew we're gonna call this yeah we're gonna call it squirrel stew that's what we're gonna call it anyway here's hoping okay i changed my mind one more time i'm actually gonna call it squirrel pastry because i call it chicken pastry my granny called it chicken pastry because i use the pastry strips so whatever Squirrel stew, squirrel dumplings, squirrel pastry. This is what we're doing. Hot mess express here today. Yeah, but I'm not out in the rain anymore and that's awesome. Actually, the wood stove is going and it's so hot I just had to open up the front door because it's like literally, uh, it's 78 and I hadn't even started cooking yet. It's 78 inside the house. Booyah. So there's a few, uh, there's a few little hairs, a few little squirrel hairs still left, and I'm just, I'm not really feeling, uh, like I want to cook squirrel hairs. So I'm going to try to get those off. There's not many, just a few. So these little, these little squirrels are not nearly as big as that other one that we killed. But there's three of them, so, yeah. We should have enough to make a meal. So for what it's worth, if you missed my last vlog, I talked about how my my son, he's 10, killed a squirrel, a really big squirrel. You have to go see it, it's really big, big. Um, and he wanted me to cook it, so I fried it like chicken and it was delicious. And it was the first time I'd ever cooked squirrel, the first time I'd ever eaten squirrel. So, oh, this one, this one is like, <laughs> This is a very flexible squirrel. Oh, yeah, I'm playing with this squirrel, but anyway. And he lost his little leg. Anyway, we're getting ready to boil them. I'm gonna boil these. We're just, we're trying all the different squirrel recipes, even though I have a freezer full of beef because my son is proud and I'm proud of him. And if he wants to kill it and clean it, I will do my darndest to cook it. Okay, I know the light is really bad, but anyway. 
What I'm going to do from the get-go this time that I didn't do last time is use some chicken base. This is, it's really good. I wish you could smell it, but you can't. Anne's Old Fashioned Chicken Base because I use Anne's Old Fashioned Dumplings, Pastry Strips, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they sent me this to try and it really is good. It's like concentrated chicken seasoning. So that's what we're going to use. So we're going to boil the squirrel and this. It's going to make its own broth, kind of chickeny, squirrely. Then we're going to take the meat out. We're going to pluck them. No, we're not going to pluck them. You pluck a chicken. We're going to pull the meat off the bones. We're going to cook the strips. We're going to put the meat back in and hopefully we're going to have amazing squirrel stew. Okay. Okay. So we're rolling right along here. Mm -hmm. One. Lima beans. You want to know why the water's brown? It's because I use this ham base seasoning because it makes it so much better. Yep but it turns the water brown, but I don't care because it's delicious, so. We'll see, I'm just gonna let them cook until they're like falling off the bone. That's the plan. Might be here a while, I don't know, we'll see. I think it needs to cook a little longer, but I'm running out of time. I didn't know it was gonna take so long. It seems like it's taking longer than last time. So I'm gonna shred it up and see what we got. <laughs> Hope for the best. Okay, I'm chewing some of it. It tastes good, but it's a little bit tough. General consensus right now is that I need to break down and buy one of them Instapots, at least for a squirrel. I'm not doing that. I'm not buying an Instapot just for squirrel, but that's what I wish I had. I should have pressure cooked it, but I didn't know that. And I don't even, I don't even know where my pressure cooker is. I haven't canned anything in like six years. Mmm. Okay. I gotta get busy. Okay. So what I'm figuring out is that some of it is very tender. And some of it is not. So evidently, one of these little boogers was just a lot tougher or leaner or I don't know what. Y'all, that's all the meat from three little squirrels. Hmm. It's not a whole lot, but we're going to go with it. All right, putting in the dumplings pastry, whatever you want to call it. It's always good to have a plan B. So in case this doesn't turn out very well, I know my lima beans taste good because I've already tasted them. And I'm gonna fry some cornbread. So, plan B, just in case. It's like uh, being a scout. Always be prepared with a plan B. Two. Two. One. Plan B. Yum, yum. Okay, y'all, we have squirrel dumplings, squirrel pastry, squirrel stew, whatever you want to call it. And um, it is on top. It really is. Yay! And so is that right there, fried cornbread. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to try not to talk about squirrel a whole lot anymore. Now that I've done made it, now that I've done made it twice, I'm pretty sure that it's definitely not correct grammar, but whatever. Um, but this, it's very hot and I'm probably going to burn myself. But anyway, hold on. It's good. It tastes like chicken stew. Alrighty then. We did it. I did it. We did it. Cheers. Um, I, I will say I'm ready to get back to beef, but it's been fun doing this too, learning something new. I guess if he keeps bringing them, I'll keep cooking them. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll just give the dog some treats next time. Yeah. All right. That's the tail end again. Because... Thank you.